Happy New Year everyone! Yo Mama Becha here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong videos. I create video tutorials about online selling, personal development, and other interesting things. So please join me as I share with you my experiences in my side hustles regardless of what stage you are in. While the pandemic brought job losses, closures po ng mga negosyo, it also brought so many opportunities online. So the number of online sellers increased to more than 50% in all platforms, katulad po sa Lazada, Shopee, and Zalora. So there's really a faster growth sa online business no dito sa Pilipinas, pero maybe you would ask, why isn't everyone finding success in e-commerce. So if you want to know more, please continue watching. In our last video, diniscuss po natin yung hard truths of becoming an online seller. And I do hope that it changed some of your perspective about online sellers. And kung ikaw naman po ay isa sa gustong mag-online selling, may that video help you prepare of what lies ahead. So as I have mentioned, there's really a fast growth po sa online selling dito sa Pilipinas and yet not everyone is finding success in e-commerce. So there's really a, a lot of reasons why and with my almost decade of experience in selling online, I came to a realization that one big reason kung bakit some of the online entrepreneurs did not make it is because of a different mindset and habits. Ayan. So rather than talking about the latest tactics, um, for example, how to increase yung sales, how to increase traffic and all that, worrying about competition, pricing, I'd like you to take a step back and take a deeper look at the habits of highly effect effective e-commerce sellers. So based on my experience selling online since 2011, I have listed it down to the following mindset habits that we all can integrate this 2021. So why mindset habits? Because it's mindset habits and principles that will set the foundation for a stronger business, mapa-online man yan, o kung anumang negosyo ang gusto mong pasukin. Begin with the finish in mind. So if you have taken the first step this year, even if it's one small step forward, let me congratulate you. Kung nag-sign up ka sa Lazada platform, kung nag-sign up ka sa Shopee platform dahil gustong-gusto mo magbenta online, congratulations for taking the courage to begin. But before jumping in and researching kung ano mga ins and outs of online selling, let me ask you this. What's your end goal? No? So, let's say you want to build a million peso business. So, that's great. No? Then, what? What will you do sa million peso business mo? And how will you run it? Ayan. So, tandaan po natin that no matter what your end goal is, first, you have to define it. This way, you can um, map out how to get there. And also, it continues to reaffirm who you are and puts your goal into focus. So, parang ganito lang yan. A perfect example is an architect. 
sa mga architect, no, they have a clear image in their head before they start the hard work of actually building something. So, they clearly visualize kung ano yung end goal nila, kung ano yung itsura ng magiging end goal nila. And then, with that image in mind, they put it on a blueprint, on a paper, then they take the steps to build that um, dream house. So, katulad din po, that is the same, is true with growing or um, opening or scaling an e-commerce business. So, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what is my end goal? And number two, is what I'm doing now going to take me there? Second, mindset habits. Don't allow your circumstances define you. Who you were doesn't define who you are. So no matter what life throws at you at, and or what others may say, you are valuable. So do not let your negative circumstance define your worth. Because adversity is part po ng life. And life will continue to happen whether it's good or bad. So let me share, no? two weeks before Christmas, my family and I were really in a roller coaster ride of emotions. Dahil yung papa po namin was rushed to the hospital and um, nag 50-50 po yung tatay namin. So in that two weeks, I have been crying. My siblings and I were in close contact, um, we, became, we became closer, so we actually prepared ourselves for the worst. So we were all scared, but you know what? With God's intervention, our father went okay, and we're able to spend Christmas with a grateful heart. A friend of mine messaged me, sabi niya, Bechay, I know that um, you are encountering some problems and I don't know how you are doing it. Yun ang tanong po niya. So, paano ko daw ginagawa that despite of, of everything, um, I still continue living and doing what I love doing. So, napaisip ako and I think ang sagot ko dun is I don't know either. Because I'm not deciding to wake up in the morning, I just do. Then, I just put one foot of the other because there is nothing else to do. Whether I like it or not, my life needs to continue and I have decided to be part of it. So, I think you just have to believe so you can take the next step. Number three. Be proactive. If you have been watching my videos, I have mentioned the word proactive so many times po, no? And kahit sa webinar natin with Lazada ko, op, medyo overused po yung word na proactive doon. Um, that is because there are actually two types of people in this world. Isang proactive and isang reactive. So, ano yung mga reactive people? So, reactive people are those who wait for things to happen and then passively respond to them. So, for example, bilang online seller, no, if I have an SKU that is selling 10 units a day and my feedback is 4.0 stars and I feel like it's good enough, so I don't do anything to improve it. So, what happens to reactive people the market really sa online selling is evolving. Gradually, more and more competitors will come into your niche until eventually the market becomes flooded. Sometimes it becomes a price war and your sales will plummet as a result. So, sales will drop from 10 sales per day to 1 or 2. Tapos yung mga bestsellers rank mo will drop like a rock. Your listing will be pushed off page 1 to page 6, you know. And then... You try to improve your product until you re realize it's too late. So, yun po yung reactive people. They focused on and concerned about 
things they cannot control and as a result spend their energy energies on that rather than proactively working on the things that they control to grow their business so when faced with the same challenges naman ang proactive people so the proactive people do review customer comments as well as their competitors to discover ways kung paano nila ma-improve yung mga product nila and add value to it so that they can maintain a high feedback review scores of above 4.0 stars. Ayan, number four. Small changes lead to big results. Done is better than perfect. So sometimes we can be perfectionist and try to make something the best that we can, especially when we're about to launch our shop. I know dahil ganun po ako dati. So I would constantly go back and try to perfect a product pa para maging 100% siya before I launch it. Um, for example, sa tela lang, no? If the color was just a shade too bright on the fabric, diba, babalikan ko si si supplier to go back and, and re-dye it. So, that's, that's an example. So, ang result nun is it would delay the launch another two or three weeks and then sometimes we missed out on the cut-off date, lalo na pong parating na yung holiday shopping season and hindi mo alam na walang ka na ng benta. No? So, however, at the end of the day, you know what? We need to let the market our customers decide with their wallets no so the key takeaway really is that done is better than perfect so hindi mo kailangan maging 100% perfect product before ka mag launch so rather than spending 6 months perfecting a product package and you know potentially missing out on on hundreds or maybe thousands of orders diba release your mvps Ayan. Okay, so kung anong MVPs na sinasabi ko, I will be talking about it in my channel very soon. So, please do not forget to thumbs up this video as this will help me make more insightful videos like this. So, yun na nga. Um, build a good enough product and worry about the last mile after you launch. Diba? Get real feedback. Uh, because per experience, maybe what you thought was a flaw isn't really a flaw at all in your customer's eyes. No? And by then, you can do the next step. You can take those feedback that, that they give to you to improve your product and make a version 2.0. So, number five. Take down notes. Okay? It's not just important to students, but also to everyone. So, it's a valuable life skill. Dahil taking down notes po, it gives you the opportunity to highlight key points and details. And for me, writing everything down allows me to place different ideas side by side. So, it improves my creativity and lets me um, plan ahead, which is for me very important for every online seller so just to share let me show you the notebooks i have had for the past year so i have wow um hindi to hindi to siya complete because I, I still have lots of notebooks um i have a financial planner na nasa baba um, I have etong pinaka latest ko na notebook is this. Ayan. So, it's a sketchbook. And, as you can see, kaka-start ko lang nitong last quarter kasi naubos na yung isang notebook ko. So, this is where I doodle. I, I put ayan, may mga drawings pa. Um, as you can see, mga life lessons no um if, especially when when i go outside and then something just 
pop up in my mind so I, I usually write it down um, again you will never know when kaya magkakaroon ng idea but when that idea comes you should be ready to have a notebook it, maybe it's just me but um, if you're the type of person naman na hindi masulat you can also use your maybe notepad using your phone um, my second notebook is this this is Mas maliit siya. Um, sa mga ganito kaliit, um, kung napapansin nyo, I usually bring malalaking bags. Kasi, ang dami ko pong anik-anik. And this one naman po, um, I write my um, mga motivational and mga productivity na mga bagay-bagay. Um, again, so, and siya mga things to do, and dito siya, and of course, itong aking everyday planner. So, this is every year, meron akong 365 everyday planner. So, I put everything that I would want to accomplish within the year, even if mga um, small things lang yan. Um, for example, no, for last year, I was able to learn um, a new, a new software um, on how to edit, Ayan, so sinusulat ko yan. And also yung mga things that I would like to uh, to finish within the year. So, nandito siya. The good thing about this 365 days everyday planner is that my daily plan siya. Meron ding parang summary. So, um, what this, this one's very, very helpful kasi it gives you realistic uh, timeline ko ano yung gagawin mo, no? And then, the last one, I also have 100 Days Project Planner. Ito. Um, isa to sa mga pinakaluma. Okay. So, may doodle din ako. Ayan siya. Mga doodle-doodle. Ayan. Hindi ko na nga matandaan, but Ni write down ko dito, sabi ko dito, every next level of your life will demand a new you and sometimes it takes being broken in order to become that new version of yourself. So, this is my 100 days project planner. Um, my timetable din siya for 100 days. This notebook is perfect when you are trying to come up or trying to launch a... Uh, a business or anything. Uh, for example, like ito, uh, may mga receipt pa. din staple ko yung mga receipts um, sa mga expenses ko, lalo na sa pagbili ng tela, kung magkano yung cost. Ayan, may mga receipt pa yan. So, that's part of my project planner. And also, na pa bang mga nakasulat? Yeah, ayun, mga action plans. And then, Okay. Ayan. So, just writing down the plan and trying to achieve it. So, yun po. Um, I said, as I've said, this is actually what keeps me sane, no? In spite of everything that happened really in between year on year. Ayan. So, take down notes. And then, number six. Never stop learning. Okay, so how do you stay ahead? Do you visit Lazada University, kung Lazada seller ka, in order to aid you or help you in your selling journey sa Lazada platform? Do you sign up sa mga free online courses offered ng Shopee? Or do you attend conferences, mga Zoom call to learn from top speakers and be around like-minded people or do you buy courses online to learn, to improve your skills, or do you read books to broaden your knowledge? So, kahit yung mga successful na tao po, no, we know up until today never stop learning. For example, si Bill Gates, I've read that Bill Gates reads 50 books in a year, um, See si Warren Buffett reads 600 pages every day, no? And and these are successful people that we can really get inspired from. So you all know how these people has been very successful and still they never stop learning. So regardless of what you do, 
to stay ahead, the common theme to succeed is this, never stop learning. Sa e-commerce, no, I believe that this is a super competitive world. Um, it's true because it's not, especially sa Shopee platform, it's not just Filipinos are selling in that platform. Different countries are joining. Um, for Shopee, alam ko naman na you are also aware that we also have Chinese seller. Pero, did you notice that aside from Chinese sellers, we see sellers na from Indonesia and Korea? No, ayan. So, try to browse Shopee. Um, for sure, you will um, see na may mga, may mga sellers na rin from Indonesia and, and Korea. So, what are you going to do to stay ahead of these competitors? Ako, naniniwala ako that time is our most precious, precious um, resource. So, how do you plan to hit that goal? Okay? So, let me share a Chinese proverb. So, it says, Like rowing a boat upstream, if you stop moving forward, you fall back. And those are my top six mindset habits as we welcome the new year 2021. I hope this video has encouraged you to embrace new habits and get rid of any that get in the way of a healthy mindset. What about you? What are your current mindset habits? Leave a comment down below and share a few of your favorite daily habits. Thank you for watching. This is your Mama Betchay once again, and I will see you in my next video.